Oh yes, honey, the cat is out of the bag, or as we say, the Shangela is out of the box, and you guys know who the new All-Star Season 4 cast is. But you may not know everything about these divas, so who's here to give you a professional take, a professional opinion? It's me, Shangela. Pheromone, a name that not only has a ring, but a scent to it. I like that. Now, first of all, I love that Pheromone is gonna be a part of this cast. I mean, honey, we can see her coming from the highlight a mile away. But what she has brought to my life is wonderful aroma. You see, Farrah at DragCon a year ago or so had these little car air fresheners with her little face on as a pinup fish, you know? And I put it in my vehicle, so my car is very fresh and pheromonized. I love it. Am I missing something? Can someone tell me if there's another station somewhere that I'm not seeing? I really want a station of my own. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Besides cry and go, mm, mm, I really am looking forward to seeing Farrah just come back and show us how much she's grown. You know, I know what it's like to be a baby diva and step into a competition, especially one who doesn't know how to sew. So I'm hoping that she will conquer any sewing challenges, mountains that come her way uh, a little better than I did. Gia, oh yes, Miss Gia Gunn is coming back. I'm looking forward to see a Gia come in because I want her to have one of those, another hula hoop purse. You know, because I love a hallelula hoop. Just got off the boat, you know, a little trip from Asia, just landed like fresh tilapia. <laughs> I'm super excited to see Gia in the mix, cause you know, not only does Gia bring looks, but she also is gonna come there with a little spice, a little spicy tuna. Absolutely, like. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I would really like to see Gia this time come back and even give us more performance. You know, I've toured with her before, we've been around the world, and I know what she can deliver on stage. One time, Gia and I did a college gig together, and we're gonna say an undisclosed university location, okay? So after the gig, Gia and I were gonna be professional ladies and go back to our room, you know, and soak our feet and do our little hydrating masks, but we were invited to a campus party at a frat house. And we were like, oh, come on! Oh girl, let's go to the front house. We went to the front house. We had a lovely time at the party. And then the next morning, when I woke up, because Gia and I had, you know, overstayed our welcome at the front house, I woke up, I'm like, where is Gia? Where is Gia? So here I am at 6 a.m., the sun's coming up, and I'm like, let me get up out this house before people start waking up and going, ooh, look who's here. So here I am, tipping through the rooms, knocking on doors. Gia, Gia. I finally found Gia. Honey, she was there, she was cloaked up and sleeping, and I had to tell, Gia, let's go. And she goes, no, I'm gonna call an Uber later. I'm like, no, girl, get out, we got to go, girl, we got to get out of here before everybody wake up. Cause you know, we had to hold on to our reputations as professional classy ladies of leisure. So anyhow, me and Gia, we left that place, and we just, you know, we made a donation to the Alumni Association later, hallelujah. Jasmine Masters, honey, she got something to say and I wanna listen. I'm so very thrilled that Jasmine Masters is gonna be on the All-Star Force cast. How did you get this body? Girl, I don't know. Jasmine is class and elegance. Jasmine is it. I'm looking forward to Jasmine bringing back to the stage some of her legendary runway looks, okay? Remember when she had the dress that was gonna be the best dress in all of Drag Race history? Y'all still looking for the best dress in Drag Race history because she brought it and it has never been brought like that again? Jasmine, bring me another dress, girl. I know she's gonna be fully beaded, head to toe, pageant hair done. I want Jasmine to come out there on coach. She gives me some Patti LaBelle because I love her Patti LaBelle. I just, I get lit up for Jasmine Masters and please, just let her go off. He is to take me into the car. He blindfolds me and say unspeakable things. And I loved it. I loved it. I will be pulling, honey, for Jasmine Masters to make it to either like the reading challenge or the snatch game. I just hope she brings Jasmine Masters, all of who she is, back to this competition. Latrice! Royale, oh honey, move over because large and in charge, chunky yet funky Miss Latrice Royale is back in the competition. Now look, we know Latrice already had one shot on All Stars 1, but you know what, that didn't work out. You know, I'm always the girl to root for somebody getting a second or third chance. So, good for Latrice, I'm excited to see her back in this competition. Whoa, Jesus is a biscuit. Ah, Jesus is a biscuit. 
So in my comedy show, now touring, called Shangela is Shook, there's a story I tell about being on the cruise once with Latrice, and they had put me in a bunk bed under Latrice. Okay, now, the bunk beds were secure, but I was still a little nervous. You know, Latrice climb up in a bunk bed, bitch, you get nervous. So I was laying under Latrice, and I told this story in my comedy show. Well, afterwards, Chris, Latrice's husband, comes to me and goes, that was a hilarious joke, but let me tell you something. It's not always bad being under Latrice Royale. Oh! What? I don't need to hear all that. Get those nuts away from my face. So I'm hoping that she'll take everything she's learned from being on season four and being on All Stars 1 and put it into making it to the finale on RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars season. My season three sister, Miss Manila Luzon, honey. That's right, Miss Pineapple Couture herself is coming back in the gig. Manila is creative. Remember, she was top two on season three of Drag Race. She's a great artist. She knows how to work her gig. And she's been a consistent name on the scene since RuPaul's Drag Race season three and All Stars 1. You will remember that Latrice and Manila were partners on All Stars season one. Mm -hmm. And now they're back in the competition. Who knows, maybe they're partners again, or maybe they'll be competing against each other. Woo! The drama, the drama! What the f is Is this bitch for real? Manila, good luck. And this time, don't leave the cake out in the rain, okay? Ah, I can't cross them. If I could, you'd get it, you know? When Monet comes in the building, honey, ring the alarm because she is hilariously funny. And this time, I hope that Monet gets to come back and show us more of her glamour. I know she has more glamour, and now she got more money because she's been on Drag Race. But really, most importantly, I'm excited to see her come back with another shade of pussycat wig. You know, I love when she comes in a crop top, crop duster wig that's short, straight from the, you know, management side of the bus. You know, I've seen her show a lot in New York. And I know that anyone that can hold a New York crowd, honey, is a fabulous queen. And she's creative and she's fun. Monet made it to the top six in her season, but she never won a challenge. And I know that this woman has the ability to be able to do that. So I'm looking for her to really deliver when it comes to the challenges. She's an actress, she can do this. Come on, Monet. And look at her, she was fabulous in the snatch game. I thought, you know what, she had a great chance of winning on that one. So if there's another snatch, Monet, Let's do it, Maya. If these hoes try to come for me, <laughs> I surely will cut thee. I will not hesitate to put thou in a ditch because Maya Angelou ain't no punk bitch. <laughs> A lot of people may think that just because Monet just came off of season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race, she hasn't had a lot of time to really like evolve or, you know, give us something totally new. But let's not forget that Aja had just come off of season 9 when she came into All Stars 3. And honey, she really delivered during her season. So don't count the exchange out, honey, because I know that Monet, 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 Monet is coming through. It's the heart of the season. Hi. Facts are facts, America. 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 America, America, that's a box, that's a box, America, 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 America. Girl, this is your second chance, honey. This is your second chance at life. This is All Star Season Four, and I know that you said that you know budget was holding you back sometimes, and you were always kind of like finishing your garment right before you went on the runway. Now, girl, you get to step it up, honey, and I want you to do it. Bring it to the runway. She just has the loads of personality, and I want to see that jump out of her in a comedy character on the Snatch Game. Girl, no, that's a giraffe. <laughs> Cows ain't spotted like that. That's a giraffe. I saw it and I was like, oh, brown cow, stunning. <laughs> you didn't see it, it was brown cow, stunning. Brown cow, brown cow, stunning, stunning. Brown cow, stunning, stunning. If Monique is the heart of All Stars 4, then honey, Naomi Smalls is definitely the legs. Oh yes, honey, she better come in walking. And I don't mean just walking, she better strut, she better stomp her way into the workroom. Honey, it's Naomi Smalls. And ain't nothing small about her. Not them legs, not them feet. You know, Naomi Smalls made it to the top three in season eight. And now we get to see if she's built up even more of her drag repertoire to make it all the way to the final two. Or one, but this is all stars, okay? Everybody's a star who's coming up in here and everybody will be going for that crown like no other. So in order for her to make it even higher than the top three, to make it to that final spot, I hope that she will like bring us something extra when it comes to the performances. I think that even bringing us even more fire to the stage, that's gonna be really fun to watch. 
I love drag so much. It is what like gets me up in the morning, and I have such a need and a want to grow. Full, just full fantasy lip, just. You know, she'd be finding the angles too, just pooch back, just. Also revealed in the cast of All Stars season four is Trinity the Tuck Taylor, yes, an alliteration of T's. In addition to the fabulous tuck and the fabulous looks, I want Trinity to also this time even amp it up more with that amazing, crazy personality she has. She's funny, she's funny. So I want her to give even more of that in the All Stars 4. She can find the cure for this, WTD. <laughs> that stands for Water Transmitted Disease. <laughs> I love hot dogs too. <gasps> Mom, what are you doing here? Senior year, I'm so excited and prom is coming. Mom. Trinity's strengths lie in her professionalism. We don't like to pigeonhole her as a pageant girl, but I celebrate pageant girls. I love it. I live for pageant girls because I think going to the pageant, especially in drag culture, the drag community, makes you really get organized. You gotta have all your categories together. You gotta have your looks. You know you're gonna be judged. And that's her background. That's the world she comes from originally. So she's gonna be crossing every T and dotting every I, honey. She's gonna have the look down. The fit is gonna be lovely. The reveal is gonna have another reveal. She's gonna be like check mark, check mark, check mark. Trinity and I would be on tour, okay? She was also a part of the Work the World Tour in the spring, and we went all throughout Europe. She loves her family. She loves her boyfriend. She loves her dog. And so she was missing them at times. So she would say to me, Shangela, when are we done? I want my dog. I want to see my dog now. I miss my dog and my boyfriend. I miss my dog. Get me home. I want my dog. It's me, Valentina. It's so nice to meet you, and did you bring my roses? I really, really love this diva, okay? This is a girl, honestly, that lives her fantasy. She wants to put on her best look, she wants to be her best, she wants to do her best, and she really does put a lot of time and effort into that, and I respect that, especially for a young queen. Valentina did so amazing during her season, and then it was just like over in one bad lip sync. So I'm hoping that she comes back with a fire, a fever for this competition, ready to deliver not only in the challenges, but also on the runway and in the lip syncs, honey. Valentina, this is a lip sync for your life. We need to see your lips. Take that thing off of your mouth. I'd like to keep it on, please. It's a lip sync. What part of that do you not understand? Okay, she went home in a very legendary lip sync where she didn't know the words. But this girl can actually lip sync really well. So I'm excited to see if she gets a chance to lip sync. She's gonna point to the mouth and make sure you see every word she's giving. Body like, wow, it's about to end this drought. Did it so political, fish queen, Jezebel, she'll be criminal, don't make sense, but bitch, she'll be this and die. Welcome to the south. She's gonna do all that, okay? If I was her, honey, I'd be so prepared with those lip syncs. I would come out there with a mask and then just remove it for fun, like, ha ha, and another word. So that's it, honey. That is my Shangela T on the 10 queens that will be competing in RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 4. Oh yes, it is gonna be one spicy competition, and I can't wait to stay tuned. You know I'll have the popcorn. Mm-hmm, I'm that girl, me and Coronation. Stay tuned and enjoy. Bye, guys. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>